Skip it up and that up. So there is a hacker who is claiming that up to 20 times to have taken over flight's engine controls. Yeah, the planes that you fly, he says he sat there with a computer in one of the seats and took over the flight controls. Holy shit. Chris Roberts, who is the dude who allegedly did this airplane hacking, was detained by the FBI in April following a United Airlines flight to Syracuse, New York, after officials saw him posting tweets he made discussing hacking into these planes that he was traveling on. During interviews he had with the feds in February and March, the document says Roberts told the investigators he hacked into flight entertainment systems on the airplanes he was riding. He claimed to have done it between 15 and 20 times between 2011 and 2014. Now, according to the FBI document, this is where shit gets scary, that once he had hacked into the flight systems and he overwrote the code that was in the flight systems, which allowed him to use a CLB or climb command, he could make the airplane change and go up, climb. That's what it means. This is something else that the document said, and I quote here. He stated that he thereby caused one of the airplane engines to climb, resulting in a lateral or sideways movement of the plane during one of these flights. Now, Roberts said he knew the weaknesses of three types of Boeing aircraft and one Airbus aircraft. How he took advantage of these vulnerabilities is that he would hack into the in-flight entertainment systems made by Thales and Panasonic. Sonic. Now, Roberts said he would use a modded Ethernet cable to connect his laptop to an electronic box underneath his seat that controls these entertainment systems. By doing so, he would use that to hack into the airplane's main computer. Now, on April 15th, United Airlines told the feds that Robert had posted tweets, oh Jesus Christ, about hacking into the plane he was traveling on and possibly activating the emergency passenger oxygen masks. The document continues, at the time, Roberts was traveling on a United flight from Denver to Chicago, then connecting to Syracuse. Now, the feds got a search warrant and they seized you know, computer equipment. They got a laptop. They got an iPad as well as thumb drives and external hard drives. The interesting thing about the thumb drives is that they contained really nasty malware. And Roberts said that malware can be used to compromise computer networks. Now, of course, this guy Roberts is saying, oh, I just did it because I wanted to expose these vulnerabilities to let the airlines know they have to up their security measures. Measures. But my question to you is, okay, why didn't you actually say, oh, I figured this out and then go over to the feds or whatever? You're obviously going to get caught anyway because you posted it on fucking Twitter. I mean, I could see if you didn't post it on Twitter and you got caught, you know, you weren't looking for notoriety, but it's obvious you were looking for notoriety for this. Jesus Christ, why would you post it on Twitter? You know, you're going to get caught for that if you were just concerned about finding out these vulnerabilities, you would have found out the vulnerabilities and then you would have went to the feds or you would have went to wherever the hell the case may be and you would have you would have gotten caught anyway. You obviously don't care about getting caught because you put it up on Twitter and then you would have done it that way, but you had to fucking brag about it. This is the whole, that whole narcissistic thing that goes on with these fucking hackers and trolls and so on and so forth. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. If he was just solely concerned about, about people and security, he would have maybe tested out what he found out. He obviously didn't care about getting caught. Like I said, he would have went off and told whoever he needed to tell. But no, he did it in a way that he got notoriety for it. That's what he did. I have the power to do this to the planes. Look at my skill level. I am a pretty powerful dude. That's the, the narcissism, the weirdness of some of these guys, man. Don't tell me I'm wrong because it's all right there. I mean, he doesn't obviously come out and say, I'm looking for attention, but obviously he was, and it's sad. If you had this programming skill and you were doing it to truly to say that you cared about people, you would have went about this in a totally different way, not bragged about it on Twitter. I'm telling you, man, the anonymity of the internet is breeding a whole new kind of scumbag, and it's scary. It's like the Wild West out there, and things need to change. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.